Speedbeat actually started as a pet project for me. Uh, Stoner originally did not have a quick detailer. Uh, me being a car guy, I was constantly looking for a quick detailer and I was uh, tired of using competitors' products for my own car. Actually, part of our research and development is experimentation um, and we're encouraged to, to use at least 10 to 20 percent of our week on projects that we're curious about. So outside of your normal weekly workload, it's what things are you interested in following up on, uh, looking into deeper or trying something new out. And um, so the quick detailer is something I did in, in that time. Uh, speed bead that's on the market now is probably version 20 or 30. Um, I was trying to find that, that sweet spot between uh, durable enough, but still easy to use and, and the first dozen or so tries, I, it's, it's easy to make things bead. It's easy to make a good coating. You know, waxes can do that. The, the, the challenge is getting it durable enough to see that difference, but you still want to be able to spray it and wipe away. What I wanted is, is a, a product you can use quickly after you go on a quick drive between car washes, between real waxes, um, but something that was a little bit more durable than it was on the market. And that's kind of how Speed Bee became uh, what it is today. It's, it's um, a little bit more durable than everything, but still very easy to use and mixes the best of both synthetic and natural um, shining agents So what we use. Depending on the weather, um, sometimes people see beads for up to a month, um, which is a lot more durable than, than a lot of other products.